Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a waterfall chart within Excel. So let's get straight into it. So we've got our data here, which shows the number of paid subscribers we have within our business. So at the start of the year, we had 100 customers, then 50 upgraded, then we acquired another 30 customers, and then 10 downgraded and 20 customers canceled their subscription, leaving us a grand total of 150 by year end. And one thing to note here is that wherever you want to show a loss within your waterfall, it's important that you put the number in a minus sign, otherwise the graph won't recognize that as an outflow. So now we've got our data, let's get straight into the graph. So what we need to do is we need to select our data and then go on insert, then go on all charts as such, then select waterfall and press OK. And then Excel will create this waterfall for you. However, there's a few formatting um, items that we need to do. So the first thing we want to do is we want to tell Excel that the start and the end position are a full set of data. So I'm going to select the first bar, right click and set it as a total. And then the same thing I'm going to do for the final figure as well. So set as total. Now the figures will update or the bars will update. Then on the left hand side, I'm going to change the former axis. So I'm going to start it off with 40. Um, so it's a bit more neater. Then I'm going to change the colors. So the decrease, I'm going to change that to a red. And I've done that by selecting it, right clicking and changing the fill. So let's change that to a green. Then we can delete this so it's a bit more space. And I'm going to change the title to customer growth. And some of the things we can do is we can remove the lines at the back, just select it and delete. So it's a bit more visual. And one thing uh, you'll notice is that Excel will automatically enter these little lines with the bars. I personally don't like that. So I'm going to remove that by selecting the um, chart itself, right clicking on format data series and where you see show connector lines, just uncheck that. And then you can always change the width as well of the particular bars. But I quite like it to be how it is. So I'm going to keep it as 50, press enter. And there you have it, a simple waterfall chart, which shows the start position, the customers you've acquired, the loss in customers, and then your final position, which is 150.